How's it going, y'all? I'm Jeff, and here we go with 1120, which that number is just not getting any easier to digest. But yeah, it seems like from the episode preview, we're getting taken back full circle, like all the way to the start of this arc with Emu getting ready to just like trash. The Lucia, which is really crazy, it makes me think that there's probably more to them than just like being disrespectful and like sitting on top of this luxury chair, because destroying a whole island, like a whole people, is just a very bold statement to make. And so it, mo it almost makes me wonder, like, it's probably, it's maybe unrelated, but it makes me wonder about the straw hat and how that may relate to the D people. You know, what's like Oprah style, like, and you get a straw hat, and you get a straw hat, or just, you know, just the two of them or just a few going around because it doesn't seem like the common person has any big like feelings towards a straw hat but i think it's going to be like relevant to those people the d so yeah i guess we'll get some more insight on that maybe this episode emu willing uh yeah let's let's just get into it and see sabo I guess he's good. He's, he feels like he has to come across his people because this definitely gives the impression of someone who is like on the cusp of bleeding out. They're like following his blood like breadcrumbs. He's beaten up in body but not in mind. Gosh, I feel like as if Luffy needs, like, more pressure on his shoulders. I mean, it seems like he never takes it that way. But just the amount of people just putting their hopes and dreams in him. <laughs> the music. It's <laughs> just like a bunny. <laughs> no, it has to be something else. Maybe. Or they just really set in the tone of this. Oh! Is that just more? Wow. They just puncture him again. So I'm wondering also, how did they find out initially? Is it just the note the news got broken somehow? Who told them about Cobra's death? <laughs> the fact that Vivi and Mopple already just sprint into Vegas right now. <laughs> You can't elope without Pell. <laughs> yeah, I mean they this this seems like they must have like like committed some sort of like political warfare, right? Taking out the whole king of a nation. That's 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 huge. Like the people of, like the, the the heads of Alabasta have officially become like social pariahs. Oh, oh, Sabo, <laughs> he hit the reverse on him. <laughs> if he was in his mouth for a minute. So much suspense this episode. What some people call slow pacing, I call suspense. Meow. <coughs> the bunnies and the cats, man, the wilderness is just throwing people off this episode. Like Vivian and Wubble just continues all the very random pairings that have been happening in this arc. Like, I feel like that's definitely a theme that's happening. Like, Oda just, like, hitting shuffle with the pairings. What is Vivi cooking? Ah, Sabo. You can just see, like, the near death in his eyes. the only thing you can see about him, actually. How is bro even still alive right now? Oh, Vivi's gonna make herself a target. Waffle showing some concern about her. Or 
やってみなさいよガッガッガッ I definitely feel like Vivi was always a little bit spunky but I feel like she's just been like nothing but like a sass master and egghead Now that she hasn't had good reason Who was he? Oh, that's how they ended up with... Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can see how Morgan's fits into this puzzle. So, this makes BB like... And I, and I guess Waffle, this makes them like the whistleblowers, right? Like, they're the whistleblowers and Morgan's is the journalist. The fact they think the Marines are navi or monitoring the snails and they're even having this conversation and telling them, and we'll be here at this time. Oh, okay, so that's how they got out in style on Morgan's big flashy... Well, that word is trademark, but on his big boisterous ship. Look at that. Look how, look how garish that is. Wobbles, Wobbles, like, actual concern for... for BB. Like, Luffy knocks some empathy into him. Actually, someone forget if from uh, the current moment of BB is aware of Cobra's death. It didn't stand out to me, I guess. <laughs> so he thought. I wonder why the choice to have this unfold in flashback form, anyways. Maybe so they can just. Maybe so Oda can just like cut to the important parts. Okay. It became worldwide. So Morgan's obviously told everyone, so Vivi has to know. At this point. <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> The translation kills me, but the mother flame that Vegapunk invented. Wait, so Vegapunk's was no Vegapunk was not kicking it with Emu. This is technology they stole from him. Testing sites. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, a few people live there. Like, he actually does not care about them at all. He just wants to, like, appease part of his conscience. How does Imu know Sabu was headed there? It's close. I guess Imu had a hunch that that just had to be the closest next destination. Okay, so this is why. That almost just fits too, like, hits too close to home, like the Marines just desperate grip. Like, desperate desire to grip onto power. That they will just, like, eradicate the people who are even thinking about rebelling. So you've got these five dudes. Seems as if they are Logia types. They are revolt to the Tajin Kingdom. Is it just for revolting? Or what do they know? Because Robin's people like knew too much, like, but 
Are the people of the Tajin Kingdom, are they just like... Stepping out of line? Ooh, I did see them in the preview too. What? Doflamingo? No! Hold on. I can see it, I can see them now, but I'm drawing, I'm drawing blanks on the names. But like the scars, the Marines are being active with this like whole reproductive thing. Oh, crocodiles! It's crocodiles, uh, Seraphim. No, oh, I didn't see it. Hmm. Okay, crocodile. Doflamingo. And... Ah! Moria? Is that who the middle one was? Was it Moria? Gecko Moria? Three... That would be three warlords, right? Okay, so I think... Yes. Hmm. Ah. Let's go, Sir Crocodile. Okay, we're back in the present. It seems like he just got helped by some, like, common folk. Yeah. Oh, yeah to expose the government? I feel... Okay, I got, I got flipped. I don't know why I thought Morgans was the one who broke the news first, but it seems like... It was the Marines who broke it first, just to frame Sabo. Mm -hmm. Ah, and so that's how he turned them into recruits. Okay. Sabo bringing out the, the revolutionary and people that's sick. Okay. Yeah, so it definitely was that Emu just wanted to get rid of Sabo that bad. Well, I guess it would be like killing two birds with one stone then. Man, ah. with the amount of people that they've brought in, I almost foresee like, I don't know if it would be a war exactly, but there's got to be some kind of big battle coming between Dragon's crew and the Marines. There has to be. Shadow. Oh yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Oh. They were pink and now they're green. Okay, so this is the kind of destructive ish that Vegapunk is cooking. That man is a threat. What do you know, Ivan Kov? Are we gonna bring up the hat? Named Saint Umu from the Nerona dynasty. 800 years ago? Ooh. Where though? Where did Emu find it? There's a person out there who doesn't know death. Emu's been around for 800 years? What is the... I'm curious, like, what interactions then has Emu had with Lily? If Emu has been around for 800 years, then they definitely must have butted heads with, with Lily. Living person, it makes sense. Why use it now? That's such a good question, Dragon. Why use it now? Unless the dragon has just been ex. He sided with him, pulls in the lower world. Ooh, wait, what? So they had a traitor the Celestial Dragons did? 
さばいたのは Oh man, you definitely know the elites don't like siding with the poor, so what is this? His crescent moon shaped hair, that's pretty sick. Okay. Don Quixote. Don Quixote? Don Quixote, that's, that's also, that's Del Flamingo, right? That's his surname, so that means. Ah! Alright, okay, so this episode just added so much perspective into things, like a lot of things. So for one, I just had maybe a light bulb come out that's like, so they're wondering, okay, why is Emu, why are they deciding to use the ancient weapons now? Well, the only thing I can think of is maybe that the, maybe the Marines are just plotting like some sort of like huge massive extinction attack that they are just getting ready to get into motion. So that's why they're like deciding to test these ancient weapons now. But also, you know, if they're having this whole, like, grand, and that would also kind of make sense that they're plotting something big to sort of, like, get rid of everyone who's, like, revolting against them. If they're also busting out all these seraphims, one after another, and have all this, like, fire, mindless firepower, that would make complete sense. So yeah, the Marines are just, I feel like they're just after some, like, sort of complete overhaul that's going to have them, like, eventually butting heads with the revolutionaries, like, Dragon and those crew. So that makes sense to me, but it makes me wonder, like, what role, like, Luffy and his crew will play in that as well. Like, will they end up collabing with Dragon in the end? That's something I almost, for some reason, feel unlikely. Like, these parties will just remain independent, and I almost sort of help, like, hope that's the case to just sort of see, like, the revolutionary army, like, sort of just, like, acting in the world of their own accord, and then Luffy can take on Emu or or whatever final boss that happens to be but yeah i'm definitely like curious to see like what takeover takeover the marines are plotting so yeah let's just keep going